This equation is already in slope-intercept form, so I can graph it by just looking at its various parts. The, what's the m up here is what we would call slope. So in this case, our slope is 3 over 4. And then, of course, our b part is what's called our y-intercept. And in this case, it's a negative 1. Notice that in the general form, I have a plus. So that means that when I have a minus 1, it counts as a negative 1. Now, to graph it, I can start with a y-intercept. That already gives me a point on the graph. It means that the uh, graph crosses the y-axis, the vertical axis, at negative 1. So let me go ahead and graph that point at negative 1. Now I can use my slope in order to find additional points. A slope, remember, is rise over run. So that means it goes up 3 every time it goes over 4. Up 3, over 4. So if we follow that path, we go up 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's where my next point will be. Now, I don't have room on this graph for another one in that direction. But I can also go, equivalently, I can go down 3 and back 4 and plot the point here. Now that I have three points, I can do my best to draw a nice straight line, which is going to connect them. And that is going to represent all of my possible solutions. So in theory, you know, if I drew a perfectly straight line, any single point on that line would be a solution to this original equation. So there's a lot of power in just in interpreting something in slope-intercept form. Hope that helps. Thank you.